Right, you guys got another video here to how to recover deleted files or data from a hard drive maybe after a failed windows 10 update or maybe you've just formatted your system and you have forgotten to back up certain amount of files and you now want to recover those files i'm going to show you one of the easiest ways to get your data back now you can use recover free but it's very limited and i've never had much success of recovering data with it but if you want to give it a go and it's free by all means do so I've always used get data back here's probably one of the best uh, data recovery software out there and I've used it for many many years and I've recovered tons of data from it so it's a really good tool now it's not free and this is not a sponsored video I just recommend this software all the time because it's probably one of the best data recovery softwares out there I think it's around about $79 and you have to sort of weigh up how much you value your data. Now to take that to a data recovery specialist, it's going to cost a lot of money. So these are the things you have to take into account when you're recovering your data. How much uh, value is your data worth to you? The first thing to do is do not write anything anymore to the drive you want to recover data from. Important, is the hard drive bad or failing? Is it making weird clicking noises? Is it freezing? If it is, then you may want to seek professional advice before you continue running any sort of software on it. Is the hard drive recognized by Windows? If it is, it's a good sign. Can you access the hard drive? Can you actually access the hard drive if you've reinstalled Windows? If it is, then you're okay to continue with a scan as long as the drive is not bad. Not essential, but I like to remove the hard drive and attach it to another PC. Now, if you have an external drive, you can recover data while the hard drive is still in the PC and then copy all the data back over to an external hard drive. But I like to use one of those hard drive docking stations and get it out of the machine. Only recover data to another hard drive and not the hard drive that you are recovering the data from. Now, if you're ready to continue, let's get on with the recovery. OK, so now let's take a look. So we've got 100 gigabyte drive in here, and that's the drive we're going to be uh, scanning for our data recovery. Now, if you want to remove the drive and plug it into another computer as a slave drive, you can do that. And you can also put it into one of those little docking stations and use that to uh, recover the data that way. Whatever way you want to do it is up to you. So what we're going to do is open up our software and you can get it installed and then run the scan uh, from there. So you can see the drive here. It's recognized the drive as a 100 gigabyte drive. So let's select that red 100 gigabyte drive. The other one says image files and that's if you're recovering image files. But we're going to scan the complete drive. So I'm going to select that and it will start to get things ready. So it's saying please select your file system. In this case, it's the 100 gigabyte NTFS file system. You can check your file system by going to properties on the drive and it should tell you that it's NTFS. If it's FAT32 or any of those and you're running an older system then you may want to uh, select that option. But in this case it's NTFS. Now we're going to be scanning level one which is a super quick scan and I don't want to do that. The best way to recover data is change the level of the scan to level four which will be a complete drive scan to find any data trace and this is very slow this will do sector by sector scanning level one will just mount the file system fastest level two will be another more higher level scan and you can see as you go through here it's getting much more complex but level four is the one you want to do if you really want to uh, do sector by sector and try to recover as much data as possible. Now this does take a very long time. You can see here it's searching for NTFS, FAT12, FAT16, FAT32, XFAT, EXT and HFS plus and APFS. It's searching all of those. OK, and you can see all of the data coming up on the screen here. Just let it run and it's going to take a number of hours to complete depending on how large your drive is and how fast your computer is. So just let it run away, OK? And try not to use the computer while you're doing it. And basically, you can leave that running overnight. Once that's complete, you will find a bunch of drives here. Try and find the largest one here. And you can then click on this, and it will then populate 
uh, the file tree and you can then recover data from that drive so you just choose this one here which is the 100 gigabyte here so I'm going to click on this and basically it will start extracting all of that for me and it will start to load it up on the screen it will just look like a normal file tree as you'll see on your main computer just choose the files on there that you want to recover now if you don't find them in there you can try one of the other folders or one of the other drives and keep clicking on them until you find your data it will be on there somewhere and you need to find it okay now once you've located your data you'll be able to easily just right click and copy and copy it to the location where you want to copy it to you can look for duplicate files here and you've got the deleted area here which will show deleted files as well and uh, again you just put the little ticks in the box and it will do those for you and then once you've done this all you need to do here is select the folders that you want to recover in this case we can look at these folders here if I uh, highlight these and then right click on them you will then see there's an area that says copy you can then copy these or open them and copy the data inside them it's now copying this to this location here this wouldn't be advisable because it's the same drive that I'm recovering data from so you want to do browse here and select your external drive if you haven't removed it from the computer it's pretty straightforward stuff now if this is in a docking station you could copy it to your drive that you've got the uh, software installed on because you're not scanning that drive if that makes sense you can also use the file up the top and get some info and basically you'll be able to recover your data that way it's very simple and easy to do okay so if you really want to recover your data then I would suggest you purchase a decent piece of software that's going to basically recover your data for you if you don't want to do that then what you can do is basically take it to a PC repair shop and have them recover the data for you again you will still need to pay now you can copy more than one folder here at a time if you want to you can just copy these and it will basically copy them and transfer them to the location you want to do it i.e your external drive or onto the drive that you are uh, using as your main system and you've got that drive in there as a slave drive and you can recover data that way it's very simple and easy to do and it's very affordable if you think about it you have to evaluate how much your data is worth to you and if it's worth more than 79 pounds then it's worth spending the money on a decent piece of software that will recover all your data I've never found any free piece of software that does a proper job just like uh, this paid software does but it's entirely up to you take my word for it or not this is not a sponsored video in any way shape or form this is a video to enlighten you on how to recover data with a piece of decent software if this doesn't work and you still can't recover your data you may try PC repair shops or even send it to a professional which will cost quite a bit of money to recover that data for you and this will be a hardware data recovery center which will get that data off anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video helps you out if it does then give it a thumbs up and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos